from a business opportunity perspective, there's two reasons why I wanted to get you to share your knowledge. One is obviously your your deep insights into what's happening on the ground now and the work that you've been doing over mm. the last 10 years. But I don't want to ignore the, it wasn't many years before that when you were I mean, a very successful business person in your own right. And also now through the work you do with B1G1, you touch a lot of small businesses around the world across mm. multiple different industries. I know you mentor mm. everything from kind of tech startups all the way through to kind of mm. the traditional businesses that, that I tend to work with. Mm. If mm-hmm. you're an investor, sitting there watching this and and thinking about that there's you know there's clearly huge opportunities in small business um there's a lot of these companies that are already esg is just hard baked into the the company oh yeah exactly it is yeah exactly what are some of the opportunities if you had your investor hat on now and you're looking at kind of sectors or you're looking at types of business what what are some of the things that you're seeing and and uh, could, could share with others yeah, well, well it's, it's a really interesting question, and I'm not sure that I'm necessarily going to answer it in the quote-unquote correct way, because, not that there is a correct way, but let me answer it in the truthful way, which is probably the correct way. And, and what we're seeing, like, if, for example, you, you take startups, and it doesn't matter where the startups are. Now, sure, they, they might be using tech in a particular way, but let's not call them tech startups necessarily. Uh, so you might see startups there. You, you might see uh, startups who... And by the way, there are now startups who are, are, are starting up only for the reason that they want to solve the problems that are there. That, that's it, right? So it almost doesn't matter whether, and I look, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of, for example, things that you wouldn't think of. I'm thinking of vets as a, for example, not, not, uh, not veterans, but vets, right, who are baking in this whole idea of creating you know of, of, of purpose and, and impacts and all of that the other hand i'm you know i'm seeing dentists i'm seeing so uh, it would be useful if i could say well you know these are these are the industries uh, but i think there are lots of other uh, ways where we can go and find industries that are quite unquote scheduled to you know boom and everything else but what we do see here's what we do see that more and more people a more i mean we're seeing uh, as you know, because you know you're part of it, um, we're seeing more and more people um, leaving corporate, right? Because they might be paid very well and and all of that kind of stuff. But the problem comes when they go home at night and they put their head on a pillow, and they say, "Is that all there is? Is that all there is?" And you know, a long time ago, <laughs> that's all there was, right? But now there isn't. And so what happens, you see, I think even in, in Australia, you see something like, I think the number is 74 new uh, businesses per hour that are being created. And a significant number of those businesses, and the same sort of stats are pretty much, you know, around the place. And almost all of those business, all of those businesses have purpose and meaning and, you know, built at the core because the people running them recognize that they didn't have in that in their lives, you know. And now, so bang, they bake it in right from the start. So the safe bet is that when you see anybody who's, uh, you know, who's really switched on, who's doing, you know, exciting things, the reality is that they've probably got something going on in relation to making a huge difference to our world as well. And it might just be that that creates a huge opportunity for uh, the, the investment opportunity.